Hello student, welcome to today's session. Let us try to understand one important question of chemical kinetics within three minutes. Here comes the question in front of you. So question seems to be two liner question, but it's a important question. Degree of dissociation is being asked for a reaction after this, this much of seconds and rate constant is being given to you. Since order of reaction is not uh, clearly shown here so we have to rely on the units of rate constant for finding out the order of reaction so how do we get that so we can simply say it like this that the rate of reaction is directly portion concentration to the power n where n is the order of reaction which is experimentally found and to remove this proportionality sign it is to be multiplied by k that is rate constant the equation rolled down to this and here the rate is concentration upon time and this is nothing but concentration concentration to the power n so this equation turns out to be this one now if i place the value of n equal to 1 here n equal to 1 so the k would become mole 1 minus 1 later 1 minus 1 second 1 so that becomes second inverse so the this particular question the order of reaction is 1 because it is given as second inverse so now if I have to apply this here, now once you get the order of reaction, we can apply the integrated rate law. So what is it? Initially it is A0 and after time interval of T, X amount has been decomposed. So here I would define first degree of dissociation, which generally people are not clear with. That is alpha. How to define alpha? Initial moles are A0. How much of moles at time T has been decomposed? X, so it is a simple viewpoint here is, Alpha is number of moles decomposed at any time and divided by number of moles initially taken. So I can say X is nothing but A naught alpha. Now, now to apply this into the integrated rate law, what we can do here is simple. This expression you people all know that K is equal to 2.303 log A naught upon T. So A naught upon T can also be written as A naught upon A naught minus X, which may also be written as A naught upon A naught minus A naught alpha. Now, if I take A naught common, this becomes one minus alpha. So the equation rolled down to this particular thing. So what we shall be getting here is this equation one upon one minus alpha. So this is being given 2.303 and this is 0.4771. This got canceled. So log 3 is 0.4771. So we got the answer. What is 3 is equal to 1 minus 1 minus alpha. So the alpha is 2 by 3. That is 0.66. So we are through the question. The answer to this question is 0.66. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed today's session. Bye-bye.